Hi, it's the Tech Diva. In the next few minutes, I'm going to talk about key performance indicators in your business that you use to measure the progress you're making with your online marketing. So when you're starting any project, whether it's offline or online, you need to have something to measure whether you're reaching your goals, right? If you set a goal like you want to make $10,000 a month by, you know, 12 months from now, you need to have metrics to know are you getting closer to that goal or are you just sort of wandering in limbo? So a lot of times people, they set up their Google Analytics or their whatever, some sort of dashboard to be able to look at the traffic that comes to their site. They get likes on Facebook, they get views on their YouTube channel, and they kind of have all these metrics but don't really know exactly what that means. Like if you're getting 12,000 views to your YouTube video, is that is that good? Like what's that mean? Like that sounds good, right? Like, and if you get like 5,000 likes on your Facebook wall, that's pretty awesome, right? Like that's cool. But at the same time, does that translate to what your goal really is? Like is that actually getting you closer to your goal or is that just sort of like a pseudo metric that doesn't actually tell you really anything about your business? So there's kind of three phases that I like to think about when I'm looking at key performance indicators in a business. And the first one is when you're first getting started, right? You have nothing, you're starting from scratch. The first one is just getting visits to your website, right? Just getting clicks on your ad or whatever. However you're driving traffic to your website, the first is just visitors to your website. And you want that metric to go up. Obviously, you want it to go from zero upwards. So your first probably month or two is just establishing that. It may even be longer than that. But it's just establishing getting traffic to your website. A really quick way to do that is with ads, Facebook ads or Google ads, but that's another topic. Anyway, point being that in the first month or two, your first key performance indicator is just traffic to your website, right, or your landing page or whatever it is you happen to be using. But then after that, that kind of becomes irrelevant if they're not taking action once they're on your site, right? If someone's coming to your site but they're not taking action, they're not signing up to your list or they're not buying your products, then it really does not matter if you're getting 10,000 people to your site a day if they're not taking the action that you want them to. It's still not getting you any closer to your goal. So after the first phase of just the traffic each day, the next phase becomes the signups or the conversions to your website, right? Um, and a lot of times with, with internet marketing, I, I talk about, um, and a lot of the great guys, they all teach having some sort of freebie offer, your free line content or what you would call your lead magnet to be able to get people just to engage with you. By giving their email, they get free tips or some articles or some training or whatever. They give you their email in exchange for something of value to them, and that starts the relationship. So you get a lead, they give you their email, you then write back, and then you build a relationship over time through that lead magnet, right? So with that process in mind, the next key performance indicator then is how many signups are you getting a day? And if it's not signups, then it's clicks to purchase your product. But usually it's pretty premature to expect people to land on your site and buy, unless you're like reselling Amazon products or something and they know exactly what they're looking for. But that's not quite the business model I'm talking about here. I'm talking about someone that's setting up a business and they're wanting to engage people and build a relationship with a prospect to then eventually convert them to a sale, either um, you know, working one-on-one -on -one or a course or a product or whatever. So your second key performance indicator is how many signups are you getting to your lead magnet? How many signups a day in relation to the number of people that are visiting your site? And that's your conversion rate, right? That's the next key performance indicator. And that might carry you through the first six months, right? After the, the initial phase of um, just getting traffic, then the next few months, maybe the next six months, is just about getting more and more signups and improving your conversion rate over time. So that key performance indicator has now moved to another kind of metric, right? Because we've just established that the traffic isn't um, relevant once you get to the second phase. What's actually relevant is how many signups you're getting. So you're wanting to improve your page over time. And this is when testing comes into place. So this is split testing. So you want to set up maybe two different landing pages with two different offers, see which one works better. You want to test ad headlines, see which one people click on. And then if they click on it, do they sign up? You want to test like a video on your homepage, your copy, maybe the design itself, like you really want to be split testing to improve this conversion rate. You want to spend time here, right? Like if you're getting one sign up um, every couple weeks, that sucks. Like that's not really going to carry you most likely uh, very far in your business um, given most goals of internet marketing. So you really want to try to make it um, better and better and better over time and really spend time here just getting that conversion rate down, getting people engaged with you because that is the, fir the first step um, of building that client relationship. So that's the first key into the funnel. And if that key doesn't work, the rest of it doesn't.
work, right? So you really have to get that part down. The next key performance indicator that comes after the signups, then of course, is conversions to sales. How many sales are you getting in relationship to the people that are signing up and the people that are actually building a relationship with you? And how many steps does that take? So it's looking at the, the sales in relationship to the signups in relationship to the visitors per day to your site. And those key indicators are the ones over time that really set up the structure of your business, at least in the first year, right? And then, of course, over time, it becomes, you know, getting your costs down, finding more way, efficient ways to get traffic, um, you know, setting up other programs, cross-sells, upsells. There's lots of other things that come in after that first initial introductory phase. But in the introduction, it's really about traffic, and then it's about signups, and then it's about the first sale and what steps it takes to first get through all those um, points with someone and then to improve that over time. So you really get it dialed in how to get people to sign up with you and then how to get a sale. And once you have that locked in, you can expand, like your limits are, your possibilities are endless, right? Because you know how to get people on a list, you know how to convert them to a sale, so now you can start adding other additional products to your offerings, you can start having other offers, you can build relationships with them, you can ask them what they want, and so on. But having those first three things um, established really gives you sort of the, the framework or the lays the groundwork for building the business online that you're really looking for. I hope that helped. If you have any other questions or if you have something you use that I didn't mention here to, to track the progress in your business, I'd love to know. Um, please just leave a comment below um, or send me an email. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much.